Space may seem like a simple idea. Some things are here, some things are there, and there's a distance between them. That's it. We don't really think of space as a thing, it's just the backdrop in which everything else happens. But what exactly separates here from there? We've known since Einstein that the distance between two objects depends on who you ask. An observer moving at close to the speed of light, and one standing still, will disagree about how far apart two points in space are. As you get closer to the speed of light, distance shrinks, and here and there get closer to becoming just the same place. But it gets weirder. Einstein also showed that mass and energy bend space and time, and that's what we experience as gravity. In this view, space and time sort of rest on top of the gravitational fields created by the mass and energy in the universe. Problem is, this happy arrangement breaks down when you try to apply it at really small scales where quantum effects take hold. Crazy as it sounds, we don't actually have a concept of space that's been proven to work for both galaxies and quarks. But there are some theories. One idea called loop quantum gravity views space and time as lumpy, the result of a vast network of knots, braids, and twists that carry information. One kink in the network might correspond to, say, an electron, while a different one, a few links away, might be a quark. The connectedness of the network determines how, when, and where particles interact, giving rise to what we perceive as space and time. A different theory, called causal sets, views space and time as just a vast collection of instants. Rather than being a random jumble, these individual events are linked by causality. If you take them as a whole, the idea of space and time emerges, sort of like how the concept of temperature emerges from the motion of many particles acting together. These aren't the only theories that might explain what space is and where it comes from, and we don't know which, if any of them, is right. But they all point to a common end. Space is not a fundamental part of reality. It arises from something else. Something to ponder next time you're trying to get from here to there.